I have found through the years that there are so many simple ways to deal with pain, with chronic pain, that can be really effective and you don't have to take powerful anti-inflammatories or drugs that will make your life miserable and uh, make you dependent on medications and doctors and all that stuff. So a few things that really work is uh, like, for example, you can uh, use antioxidants. Antioxidants are very powerful anti-inflammatories. So you, you create three, three um, cocktails of antioxidants during the day. You take the first one with your breakfast, then another one with lunch, and another one with dinner. So that you keep your antioxidant levels pretty high, and then you continuously during the day, you decrease inflammation. And that, I have seen extraordinary results with such a simple thing. Uh, for example, I had a client that he was in constant pain. And um, I, I, I saw him in, in workers' compensation, when I was working in workers' compensation as a psychotherapist at that time, and he was um, having so much pain that he could barely move. And he was relying completely on pharmaceuticals uh, that were very strong, mostly opiates. So his life was miserable. For, and for about seven years, I saw this poor guy and he su supported him uh, from a psychological perspective. But it, there was little that doctors or even myself could do to help him with his pain and his pain was kind of resonating all over his body his back, his neck, his legs, everything was a, 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 in, in fire in constant pain. Did he have a disease or an illness? Or? Um, well, they, they would call it fibromyalgia or different names but nobody really knows that's the right. truth, right? But there was obviously pain and so one day, after several years, and he was not my client anymore, but I just had great sympathy for him. So when I learned about this simple intervention, which is to create these three cocktails, I gave him a call. And I said to him, look, um, try this. See if this is the, if it works for you. Put a co three cocktails during the day with antioxidants. Be creative. Find whatever you want, you know. And he had, he had been already into antioxidants because he was in a kind of multi-level market where they were selling antioxidants. So it was easy for him. He put these three um, cocktails together and one week after he called me and said, I have decreased my medications to a 10%. 10% of what, 10 what? Of what he was taking. Wow. And uh, last time that I talked with him, he was not taking any opiates and uh, occasionally he was taking Advil or something like that, and he was taking his, his three uh, cocktails of antioxidants during the day. Now, now this is not the only person that I, I have seen. But the antioxidant yeah. strength, how, how do you make a cocktail? Can you give me an example of what's in it and how, how strong is it compared to the usual? Like people may take one right. pill. How, how many right. pills? How, how much? Well, you need, to be, you need to be willing to take several pills all, uh, together, right? Mm -hmm. So you may put together six different pills and take them three times a day. Uh, they could include uh, curcumin, uh, which is a turmeric extract, CoQ10, resveratrol, uh, you could include vitamin C, uh, vitamin D, which is another antioxidant in fact now and they are discovering and uh, very good for pain. So you could you put together a few pills and uh, in this, this case this guy also Put uh, used some mangosteen, these fruit juices that are very, um, very strong in antioxidants, mm. and and uh, it worked for him. And then I saw it working also for my mother. She had a tremendous inflammation in her esophagus, and at some point she couldn't eat. So I told her, "Look, do this." And in a person that is 77 years old, this could be serious, not eating, you know, they can waste themselves in a short period of time. So she took the three dosages during the day and in one week, pain was gone, you know. The doctor had gone there, looked into her esophagus and said, look, you don't have cancer, but I tell you, you have an inflammation that is horrendous.